Sarah and I have been living aboard for a few years now. We were living in this boat that is right behind me. We sailed around the south coast of England for a bit, then we crossed the channel and then we went through France through the rivers and canals. And we got to the south of France in the Med last summer. Now we were living in Weiskus, which is this boat over here. It's a Trident Warrior 31. As you can see, center cockpit. And the problem was that it was a bit too small. For the last year especially, we found it uh, quite hard because the aft cabin is not connected with the main cabin through any corridors or anything. So you have to come out to go in there. That became our storage room and we lived just in this bit of the boat, so it was quite small. So, so for a while we were, any boat yard we would go to or marina, we would look for boats, especially a steward. He's, he's got a very good eye for this. And when we got here, he found the right boat or the, bo the right boat found him, like he says. <laughs> And that is the boat we're working on at the moment. And we're gonna show you now. Here she is. Excuse the washing, but it was washing day. <laughs> so we thought we'll show you a bit uh, what we've done so far and what are the plans. <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now, as you come down the companion way, you get straight into the saloon. As you can see, if you've been watching our videos, you have probably seen already. There was some water on the boat at some point, mm -hmm. and you can see that here on the wood. We've got no floor, it was too bad, and we have to redo the stringers, so we took it all off. So we're now just always walking on the beach. <laughs> uh -huh. Here's the steward. Yeah, so this year it's been a bit... Um chaotic maybe no real plan uh there was mainly a sort of exploration type season so we had a look at this boat it took us six weeks to get the other boat sold um maybe a little bit longer with a bit more messing about then we had to do and throwing logistic issues we had to organize a container to put yeah. stuff in so everything's just been a bit chaotic um so what we've managed to do is have a little look around, poke a little bit, try and start some little jobs off. Because uh, we're our season in the summer is quite short, so only four and a half months. So we had three months. We went away for a bit, for a month. So it's all been, uh, it's all new to us kind of thing. So we didn't know if we've done it right or what, but uh, at least next year we can hopefully- Crack on. Yeah, hit the ground running. So let's have a look around. We'll start on the back. And this is the aft cabin. Excuse the bags, but I'm packing because I'm going to Spain. And this is probably my favorite part of the boat because it's a very big bed. <laughs> so under here, under the bed, basically the head of the bed, middle of the bed is the rudder system because it's on a skeg. Uh, we have no idea about an emergency tiller, but that will probably get figured out. We'll worry about that later. <laughs> yeah. We'll get the boat floating first. Uh, there's a cupboard at the back. Uh, probably good for spare rigging. In here, we have an ensuite. But the plans for this room is to just make it just a shower. There used to be a toilet there, not anymore. But we're just going to make this a shower. But it's pretty good, uh, like good size. I can stand up in it and I'm over six foot. Um, yeah, this is the only room where I actually uh, plan to uh, do Change. Much. Yeah. Yeah. We're just going to turn the basin 90 degrees and have and make, make a seat for the shower. Wooden fiberglass. <laughs> <laughs> a hanging locker, which is nice. Yeah, we love having the hanging locker for oh. the clothes. As for shoes. Yeah. In here, as you can see, no floor anymore as well. We don't know. We don't know about this. It seems good. That's because the thing. this part 
like in the saloon doesn't look very solid but this even though it's moldy and stuff and it's been underwater but it, it is solid so sand and paint and hope for the best mm, here's where the shaft for the engine comes in so if we carry on through the corridor this is the good thing about this boat that we didn't have in waste because in the other is that the aft and the front are connected so you don't have to get out to go to the aft cabin which we love <laughs> the door for the engine room oh yeah i haven't showed you smurf door the engine room's got a door which is pretty amazing it's a big engine room especially now that it's got no walls <laughs> oh no engine here on the right we've got loads of storage and the engine room which if you've been following us you saw had an engine on it not looking very good <laughs> and loads of stuff that we've been taking out so it's now almost empty and ready to just see what we can do uh, we want to maybe make a workshop in there have a day tank for the engine which we haven't bought yet. No, and... day tank we have. No, the engine. Oh, the engine. Um, maybe we'll open, just behind there, we'll open a little hole so we can come through, through the cockpit locker. We'll show you the outside in a minute. But yeah, here's the bilge. And apart from being dirty, I think it's looking all right. But yeah, here in the corridor, we've got some rotten wood that we'll definitely have to oh yeah to get rid of and put new. It's just um, I think with the fuel tank and the water tanks that we've got for the bilge, I need to take a little bit off the engine bed about four centimeters uh, because I've gone double thick I want to go double thick on the stringers um, and replace obviously replace this wood nav table next yeah here's the nav table so all the instruments will go there we've got a little seat that swings out for the table but yeah we'll leave it like this with I think it's okay it's good like that you know vhf vhf tank gauges i'd like to have the bilge monitor here but um it's just doesn't yeah make all sense. this we, we don't know yet it's uh, a bit answer i just have a dream <laughs> we're back in the bilge now that is a fuel tank that we want to get rid of uh we've already bought one but we're waiting for the delivery here there used to be two aluminium water tanks that we got rid of because they were not in very good shape and we found some plastic ones that we already bought and second hand so cheap cheap and they will be sitting in here uh here we've got the galley there used to be a cover behind the, the stairs but we're going to extend that counter underneath so there'll be more storage in there this fridge that we've got over here is going to go in this space here uh we got rid of the cooker as well because it was uh, really bad <laughs> and we already found one for 50 how much 50 euros yeah it was the yeah 50 bucks for a cooker the there was a sign outside the toilet <laughs> and it just said Eno, didn't understand the rest, 50 euros. So it was worth calling and yeah, it seemed right, it's got pot holders, it doesn't have a grill, but... Uh, um, no, can't you can't complain, it was cheap and he's looking really yeah, good. Yeah, stainless one, so yeah, yeah I've, I'm in an iron about putting the gas bottle outside or leaving it in a locker, thinking more about putting it outside, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah so it's pretty nice the galley spacious we've got all this storage the sink i think is too small so we might be changing it although i really like this tub it's pretty cool and what else well this is the saloon at the moment 
Hello. As you can see, the mask goes in there, which uh, we're going to have to work on. We already have some wood to replace that and don't really know what would be the best way to to do this. Uh, but... Multi-tool, epoxy, fiberglass. Hope for the best. These builds we're going to first obviously clean and then we're going to lay up some fiberglass and gel coat it. So yeah, it's a lot of work to do in here. Uh, the, this uh, table, we've got the table actually, but it needs a bit of work. But it goes from here and it can, it folds open, yeah. so it becomes a really big table, which is good. Yeah, the leaves of the table, yeah, they, um, they're all good. So it's only the middle bit that needs. Yeah, making. because they were they were stored up, so yeah. they didn't get water damaged, but the table did. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's a pretty looking, uh, it's an easy looking table, just an eight shape. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we carry on, we get to the other head. Which we're going to keep just like this. Obviously we'll work on it like this, it's not good and stuff, but the idea is yeah, keep it like this. We've got a toilet for there, where the Hoover is. It's pretty nice. And then the vivers, which is now like a tool shed. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that, that's kind of on me. Yeah, Stuart needs to tidy up his tools. <laughs> but yeah, these will get done in the next few days. But it's uh, as well pretty spacious. It's got a big hatch as well. And it's got a little hanging locker here. And he's got his own door. The, the Jack who's got the sister ship, uh, he turned his door so it opens inwards, which we're in two minds about. I so think it would be good, yeah, because right now, that both of them open this way, I think it would be good if this one would open the other way. This is how it's looking at the moment. These are all our, ide our ideas. And as Stuart said, this year has been just to have a look and think about what we need to do next year. As soon as we get back, we'll have to crack on. We'll have a look outside now. So the cockpit is quite big and it feels really safe because it's center cockpit. So it's nice. This is the locker I was telling you that we want to maybe cut the inside so we can go straight in the engine room through here. We'll see because Jack, who's got the same boat Stuart was telling you about, um, that's what he did, and we think it's a good idea. Um, the steering helm. We'll probably change it. Yes, because the, this hydraulic unit doesn't have check valves, one, uh, one way, or non-return valves. It has to go into a box. And I just believe every time there's a connection, there's a weak point. So I want to change the helm. Uh, here where the instrument panel is for the engine. I want to get rid of that because yep. the bilge pump needs to be accessible from steering. Yeah, the boat used to have a Perkins for 108, but we're going to go probably for a Yanma. And there's the old bilge pump. And you can only work it when the locker's open. So I've got the new, well, new to us Gusher 10, uh, which I had on Waze Goose and I really rate. I think they're good bilge pumps. Um, so we'll put that outside so you don't have to open the door to use it. So that's that locker, uh, which we might get rid of. This is the gas locker, might get rid of. Oh, we've got spider. Oh, that's alright. Mm. Might eat the mosquitoes. Uh, and then here, this is another little locker, which... The lockers are quite small, but the... I'm sure we can find a, an use. Put my sweets in there. <laughs> there used to be some wood covering these. How is this called? Um, some I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But there used to be some wood all the way around it, and we've already taken that off and sealed all the holes and cracks and painted it. So, yeah, Ooh. that's something we've done. <laughs> done something. Yeah. Uh, we've got to the, where the gaffer tape is. Here where the gaffer tape is, there, there there was used to be an instrument. The old autopilot. Yeah. 
So we need to cover that. Let's throw about a, lo a lovely little window that will go here. This one. I think it's really cute. And you can open it. So that will be sitting somewhere there like that. And it's the it's similar. It's a similar model. Yeah, similar model to the ones that the boat have. So yeah, it's got Vita, so another Le Bon coin find. If we go to the aft, we can see this massive locker, which at the beginning I thought I didn't like because I would love to have all this space to just to hang out. But everyone who's been on the boat loves it because obviously it's massive and you can store a lot of stuff in there. So I think we're going to keep it, aren't we? Yeah, it's a good little spot for where you go fishing. That it's already time. full. <laughs> yeah. um, we got a lot of junk that at some point needs to. Yeah. But yeah, the decks, I mean, they're all right. We haven't stepped on any spongy bits or anything, any soft spots. I did on Jack's boat and I was like, oh, it's a bit soft. He's like, yep. <laughs> that was that. What so, more can you say? So we're going to have to be rebedding all these, the stanchions. We do one at a time next year, probably. That could be a good job. This being a steward's job, he bought the, all the, everything, the cable, the connector, the plug. And it's been installed already, so we've got some electric on the boat. Oh, I think it looks pretty... That's new. That's yeah, new. pretty warper. <laughs> uh, Marina had one job and that was, does this look level? Marina's like, yes, <laughs> it's not level. Yeah, uh, we realised afterwards it wasn't level, but it's all right. It goes with the line of the... <laughs> well, you actually guess. <laughs> It works! <laughs> That's all that matters. There is a hole for the mast, which we have to cover so the water doesn't come in anymore. And we've got a vent here. We had two like this on the back, but we got rid of them. We are working on it, on it at the moment, trying to get them covered. Oh, there's another one there that we'll get rid of. Windless, which is pretty chunky. Mm. We hope it works. Yeah, it's uh, which we, which wind this is it? Uh, Twelve hundred watt motor, Lafran Ti Tigress. Yeah, uh, the only thing I don't like it's got this hole. Uh, this one where my finger is. Look. Yeah, and the water <laughs> comes in. So, uh, I don't know. I'll have a look. It can't be that hard to make something. It's got a bow spread that we are not very sure about. We don't like the look of it, so we might do something be more simple. Just, uh, I don't know. We need to work on that. Yeah. There is my birthday present, if you haven't seen it yet. It's a tinker, so we can tinker around <laughs> whilst we work on the boat. That's gonna be your dinghy for the boat, but it's gonna be your toy as well. It's got a pretty big mast. Ben gave us his old outboard, which is a two-cylinder, four horsepower. Probably needs work. Well, it needs work, but uh, <laughs> you get what you pay for. We've established this. <laughs> so if you pay with money or you pay with time, either way, you're going to pay. So, yeah, this is a uh, seabird. I don't know. We probably left many things that, but we wanted to show you what's the plan, what we've done which is not much, but it's all right. Yeah, slowly. Um, we've got a bit of welding to do on the pole pit. Push pit, at the back. <laughs> at the front as well, just put a couple of extra bits in. And then for the cockpit, we have a, an idea of a solar bimini. Yeah, we follow um, Saline Muhuhu. I don't know if that's the way the right way to pronounce it. Sorry if it's not, but <laughs> they've got an electric a sailboat which is super cool and they've got as a bimini they have a stainless structure with two big solar panels on the top so it works as shade and to get them some power 
and we think we might do the same. That's the plan anyway. Yeah, I've got a big boom cradle, stainless boom cradle. So I probably need to find a welder and uh, a boom cradle and hopefully get two uh, huge solar panels on the top. Yeah. And you know, we have some ideas and we just jot them down in the book. Mm. Some windows leak. We've got that one covered because it leaks. And we've got one missing at the moment in the galley. But hopefully we get that done. Well, I would say we, but I'm leaving tomorrow. <laughs> hopefully a steward can finish that before he goes because yeah we're about to go back to work unfortunately fortunately and unfortunately because we need to save that for this refit for the project but we'll get there and now a big part of this project is the kill <laughs> i'm working on the hole so we've started a few bits but we haven't really gone too far So we've been covering through holes that we don't want and we want to get rid of. And we've been having a look at this kill, which if you've watched our previous videos, you'll see that it had some water in. Now it's water coming from the inside. So obviously because he had water inside, somehow it filtered through and went in the kill. So the problem is that the fiberglass has uh, separated from the ballast now and there's like a void in there so we're debating what's the best way to fix that we'll think about it during the winter obviously this old repair we'll have to have a look at but the rest is not looking so bad i know loads of people have commented on the videos that we should have jet wash the hole and sand it that how can we have barnacles still on but as I said this year has been just to have a look around and we haven't really started the project properly that will be next year yeah we'll see I've been looking at videos of sandblasting someone said well it's a bit abrasive yeah just be who, quick who told us that instead of that there is ice yeah, dry ice. Better. Dry ice blasting. <laughs> but you can't just buy dry ice from the local hardware store and just quickly blitz over with a 150 <laughs> buck unit. No, but maybe we can find someone who would, Ooh. I don't know, give us a hand with that. <laughs> Is that a new mud bobby? Maybe. Oppa. The P bracket needs a little bit of work as well. It's coming off a little bit here, but I'm sure it's nothing we can't fix. And the keg and the rudder will need some work as well. <laughs> um, the rudder, the rudder only moves one way. Uh, haven't even checked the hydraulic levels. I just moved the wheel. Uh, the rams are normally solid because they're always inside. But the helm, I'm dubious about the helm, that's why, as I said earlier, I wanted to change the helm. So yeah, this is our one euro project boat. There she is. right next to our old boat, Waste Goose. <laughs> well, I haven't said, but it's a Gulf Star 41 from 1974, right? Yes. So if you have any questions or any advice or any ideas, uh, you know, we love to hear from you. So let us know. <laughs> but this is where we stand at the moment. That's what it is. Before the end of this episode, I would like to say a big thank you to Simon he sent us this amazing endoscope which is gonna be a very helpful tool to have a look maybe inside the kill because we drill those holes we'll try and poke these and have a look and see if it gives us any clues on what's the best way to fix it but yeah it's pretty cool 
I don't know if we'll have time to have a go at it before we leave because we're already getting ready to go but we'll definitely have a go at it next year and he sent us some LED lights as well they're red really nice and very handy as you know for night sailing so we'll be probably putting one in the um, nav table one in the galley maybe as well and yeah very nice very smart looking So thank you very much, Simon. We are very grateful for that. And as always, thank you to everyone who is donating or buying things from our wish list or commenting, liking. Thank you to all our new subscribers. We're growing really quickly and we're super, super grateful, always. And hopefully see you next week.